On this episode of Watch Stuff With Us, Monster, The Jeffrey Dahmer Story, Episode 5. Thanks for checking out another episode of Watch Stuff With Us. Before we do anything else, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so that you are alerted each and every time I slash we post an episode. So yeah, you might be looking like this is a little weird. Why is JD just by itself? Well, Katie is recovering from a tonsillectomy. So she is upstairs watching this episode and will be joining us at some point further down the road as we get a little bit through these episodes. I don't think they're paying you for doing nothing. Why don't you want to talk about it? Something to talk about. He's fixed the chocolate all night long. All right, fine. It's just asking. She's mixed the chocolate all night long. Why are you questioning me? It's not like I do any other weird stuff. And, uh, that's when I decided I was gonna dig him up. And what did you plan on doing? Like, how do you jump from, okay, I'm gonna go to visit this guy who I don't even know I to, to lay with him. yeah, let's just go dig up his body. So fresh and just, uh, like, that's so crazy. And I mean, it goes without saying that the dude is crazy, but just his pathos and some of this stuff is, man, it's beyond the level of crazy. Seems like he totally, like, the, the whole mannequin fetish, like, he really wants to turn these actual people into, like, his mannequins. Like, he doesn't necessarily even, like, want to have sex with them or anything like that. He just wants to, like, lay with them like it's sad but like he really does just want somebody something there with him sorry you purposefully moved into an apartment in the black community to an area that was under patrolled and underserved and you knew that isn't that right easier to get away with things there easier to hunt So you get him down there then what? Man, that's, see, that's a good question. I wonder, did he really just well, think that, you know, these people were beautiful or was he like actually man. trying to, you know, hunt them like the detective is saying? Like, was it deeper than what he's letting on? Like, cause he sort of acts kind of naive about it all. Like, you know, oh, I just saw this beauty, but you know, I can't, I can't imagine that he didn't think the other things too. Like, yeah, this community is underserved. There isn't as much police presence. I could get away with these things more there. So, tons of questions, man. Tons of questions that I'm sure we're never really truly going to get an answer to. Oh, you think so, Jeff? You think you could have washed the skunk sludge down the drain a little better? Jeez, Jeff! Sorry, Dad. Jeff! How cool Jeez. Is I mean it, though. Should it stop? I'll stop. And, uh, get rid of that comic book devil stuff, too, goddammit. I mean, I know you say it comes from a movie and all, but it's just too much for your grandma. You know that. Okay. I will. He treats him like he's like. Promise. 12 or 13 still. Like, oh, he's just a silly boy. I'm sure that's what the dad is thinking in his head, but like. At a certain point, you got to stop looking at these warning signs and be like, oh, there is something seriously going on. Once I stop. Fruit seller? I'm just here because you said you could give me a hand. I ain't trying to see your seller. Your basement, your upstairs, your downstairs, nothing. Just, <laughs> I gotta find my car keys.
kind of like how this show makes you go back and forth from being like sympathetic a little bit towards Jeffrey towards looking at him like he's legitimately just a horrific person. And I think I side more on the horrific person side. There are some causes there, but he's just a bad person, man. Just a bad person. You know, just how you're, you know, what's going on inside of you. Or maybe, um, you know, some guidance on how you're meant to be. Uh, you know, I, I got to, you know, contribute to society. I, I don't know, just stuff that I wasn't able to teach you. <laughs> well, they just leave you alone in there. I just kept to myself the whole time. That was kind of the best part. So we can stop the he knows it's not over. Yeah, um, Got no help. He knows it's not over. Warm up the car. I'm parked down at the very end. I'm going to hit the John. Okay. <laughs> That is sad, man. Oh, here it is. Gosh. Uh. Sorry. Try to learn it. Just read my lips. I live here. Pure predator. Wow. Um, I don't know why that one sort of got me um just seeing that in you, you you feel this like deep sadness for so many different people in this episode um you feel and i mean like you you can go back in this video and i'm sure you'll see where at some point i talked about how you feel the sympathy or at least this show does a good job of trying to portray the sympathy for, for Dahmer. And, um, I don't have that at the, at the end of this episode. I don't have that right now. I don't have that. And, you know, maybe at another point later on in the episode I, or later on in the series, as it goes along, I will, but I don't, I don't have that right now. And this is a man who was a pure predator and got away with his all shucks golly gee routine with so many people and being clean cut and not the the typical I guess look for someone who's a serial killer is what allowed him to continue to kill people for years and years and years along with the failings of the judicial system the the failing of his of his father the failings of his mother the the failure of so many different instances where this could have been stopped but it wasn't and um it you know it makes me emotional just to to watch something like that and to see, you know, how this played out. And this is, you know, I'm, I, I don't know any of the people that he killed. I'm not related to them or anything like that, but just to, just to see 
and put myself myself in their in their shoes and know that that could be like one of my you know a, a brother of mine or a cousin of mine or even a friend of mine to see them and to know that this was their fate you know it's horrible to watch it's horrible to watch this is a show at this point that i will definitely continue to watch because i'm interested in it but this is in no way fun this it's a grind it's grueling and i was wondering how they would get 10 episodes of this and at certain points i'm like oh yeah i definitely want to know more i'm interested i want to know more but at another point i'm just like this this is enough like i need to i need to stop And, you know, kudos to the, the people who created this show because their job is done when they have you sort of wanting to watch it, not wanting to watch it, and then probably eventually watching it because it is a, a very interesting story. But it also leaves me frustrated, sad, angry, everything, so... Um, I'm sorry there isn't really more analysis for this episode. I'm sorry this isn't as as upbeat as, you know, this show usually is, but this is heavy. This is heavy stuff, and it's, um, it's tough to watch and process. So um, if you want to continue to ride with us, um, hit the like button, the subscribe button, notification bell, all that good stuff. Yeah, I'm JD. Thanks for watching it.